Creators are launching into stardom and it's not by chance. They are doing it by nailing that crucial intro to their videos. A dynamite start can make your video the next viral sensation. But here's the twist. It's not wizardry or luck, but it's a blend of art and science. They are following this six step formula that turns intros into gold. We're about to unravel these game changing intros piece by piece and turn those first few seconds of your video into your channel's launch pad to go viral. However, there's another YouTube secret that most creators miss before even getting to your intro. This secret impacts your intro greatly and it happens before the viewer even clicks on your video. That is because the first step to a killer intro and one of the most important steps to a great intro is your title and thumbnail first. Think of them as the welcome mat and front door to your video. They've got to be spot on because if you're not inviting, nobody's coming in. And this combo isn't just a warm up act. It's the headliner that gets people to the show. Nail that and you've just won the first half of the battle. Think of them as your video's handshake to the world. They've got to be firm, quick, and make an impression. One trick to use for your titles is to use the kind of words that stick in your mind long after you've scrolled away. Short, punchy, and packed with a little mystery. Like the secret you've never knew about. It makes you want to click, right? Thumbnail on the other hand are your visual shout out. They've got to catch the eye faster than a lightning strike. Use colors that pop and faces that show emotion because let's face it, we're all a little nosy. We want to see the reaction, the drama. Study what is working in your niche by looking at competitors and learn what is working well and incorporate that into your own intros. But here's the key. Your title and thumbnail have to be best buddies. They should match. And remember, no clickbait. Keep it honest, keep it real. Make sure the viewer is paid off during the video by giving them exactly what is described through your title and thumbnail. The second step to creating a killer intro is making sure you nail the first five seconds of your intro. You've got mere seconds to make a splash in the YouTube sea, so you need to dive straight into the art of crafting a killer intro that grips your audience in those first crucial five seconds. This is where the magic happens, where viewers decide whether to stick around or swim away. So your title has made a promise and now your opening shots have to keep that promise. Say your thumbnail is a cliffhanger, a frozen moment before a wild stunt. Your video better start off with that stunt's heart stopping lead up. It's like greeting someone with a secret handshake that only they know about. Make them feel like they are part of your story. Now, let's talk about creating that visual echo. You need to style your intro in a way that it makes the viewer feel something. Make the viewer so intrigued with what they are about to see or learn that they literally can't click away. So we know our opening needs to pack a punch, but how? Well, you've got to fuse the visual with the verbal. The first words your audience hears should tie into that fascination to find out what's next. If your title teased an epic fail, your intro should hint at that upcoming disaster. It's a teaser, a trail of breadcrumbs that viewers can't help but follow. Step number three is storytelling and pacing. So you've got your story, but how do you lay it down so that it grabs attention? Think of your intro as the opening chapter of your favorite book. You want to set the scene, introduce a hint of drama, and give a taste of what's to come, all while moving a pace that's neither a sprint nor a crawl. It's a delicate balance, too fast and your viewers might miss the magic, and too slow and you might risk them clicking away. Transitions are the secret sauce here. They're not just visual flips from one scene to another, they're the narrative threads that link all of the parts of your story together. They should feel as natural as a conversation, leading viewers through the door and into the heart of your video. And you're probably wondering, how do you make sure all these elements tie up neatly? Storyboards. No, they're not just for big budget movies. They're your roadmap, your guide to where your stories are headed. Sketch out your intro scene by scene, shot by shot. This way, you're not just winging it. You're building the viewer experience frame by frame. With each transition, with each pace beat of your narrative, you're not just telling a story. You're creating an experience, one that sticks with viewers long after the video ends. Step number four is creating curiosity gaps for the viewer. Think about those books that you just can't put down or the shows you constantly are binge watching. They all have one thing in common. They leave you wanting more. That's the power of curiosity gaps. They're the cliffhangers at the end of the chapter, making your brain itch for the outcome. So how do you plant this itch into your intros? Start with a question or a bold statement that leaves a gap, like a puzzle missing a crucial piece. Let's say your video is about revealing secret restaurants in your city. Tease them with something like, what if I told you some of the best meals in town or places you've walked by a hundred times? Now viewers are hooked. They need to know these spots and they'll stick around for the reveal. By weaving curiosity gaps into your intros, you're starting an experience viewers feel invested in. They're not just watching someone's weekend project. They're tuning in for a piece of adventure that they're now a part of. And that is another key step to help you make an intro that sticks. Step number five is creating engagement through visuals. Visuals in a YouTube intro are the silent ambassadors of your story. Think of them as the charismatic mime on the street corner, drawing in crowds 
without uttering a single word. Your intro's visuals need to carry this silent power. They should echo the heart of your narrative, offering visuals that lock in viewers, even with the volume turned completely off. Now, let's unlock the secret to captivating visuals. It's all about connection. Every frame should go seamlessly with your video's beat, like the perfectly timed steps of a tango. This harmony keeps viewers glued, making them feel the rhythm of your content before a single word has landed. And here's a little insider tip. The algorithm loves a visual storyteller. It favors videos that can hold a gaze. So your intro should be like a magnet for eyes, using color contrast, dynamic movements, and transitions that feel as natural as a river flowing to the sea. Step number six is by far the most important, and that is looking for inspiration. You see, those channels at the top of the game in your niche, they're doing a ton right, but nobody's perfect. So what you're gonna do is play a little bit of detective. Watch what they do and see where they zig and then you zag. Maybe they start their videos off with a bang, but then it fizzles out. Or their intros are a marathon when they should be a sprint. You're going to grab the baton and run the right way. You've got this unique chance to fill in the gaps they leave wide open. Think of it like making the world's best burger, but you've got the secret sauce that no one else has tried before. It's all about adding your own kick, that extra little bit of flavor that everyone is coming back for more. The ingredients may all be the same, but you add that extra sauce to make yours stand out from the rest. So you keep it real, keep it tight, and make sure every word in your intro works hard to earn its keep. That's how you make waves, by not just following the giants, but playing the game smarter. Keep it simple, keep it snappy, and most importantly, keep it all about the viewer. They're the real MVPs here. And now that you know how to create a killer intro to your videos, make sure you aren't doing any of these YouTube myths that could be destroying your channel's growth. 